Today we're going off-roading with the 2023 Toyota Sequoia Limited with the TRD Off-Road Package. That's coming up right now on Driving Sports TV. Recently, we had a complete review of the all-new 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro. In that review, we took a look at all of the features of this new full-size SUV and drove it through a simple off-road course. We're not done yet. It is now a day later. The rains have stopped. The course has dried out a little bit, and we are going to take this 2023 Sequoia Limited with the TRD off-road package on the course. Thanks to the addition of the TRD Off-Road Package, this Limited is very similar to the TRD Pro. All Sequoias come standard with a twin-turbocharged V6 engine good for 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. The transmission is a 10-speed automatic connected to a part-time four-wheel drive system with a two-speed transfer case. Front suspension is an independent double wishbone setup. In the back, the new Sequoia gets a multi-link with coil springs and a solid axle. Like the TRD Pro, the new TRD Off-Road Package enhances SR5 or Limited trims with Toyota's Multi-Terrain Select Off-Road Programs, Crawl Control with Downhill Assist, and a Rear Locking Differential. Shocks also get upgraded to Off-Road Tuned Bilsteins, wheels get downgraded to 18s, and they're wrapped in Michelin LTX Trail Tires. Price of the new Sequoia Limited that we're driving today with the TRD Off-Road Package and some extras, 67,700 US dollars. Now things you do not get on this that you get on the Pro are the Fox shocks, the roof platform, and it also comes with different wheels. But those are not the things that will make or break a vehicle in challenging conditions. Often it comes down to tires and how well the traction systems perform. So we're gonna head off to a mud bog of an off-road course to see how well this limited TRD off-road performs. The good news is you do not have to spend $76,000 for a TRD Pro because you can also get now the Limited with the TRD Off-Road Package. That gets you MTS, crawl control, 18-inch alloy wheels. It really gets you all the basics that you need. Really, the TRD Pro, the main selling point is the fact that it comes with different shocks, which are granted better for off-road action. Uh, and then it also comes with a roof platform, which you do not get at this trim level. So even though this vehicle does not have the same tires, because the other one comes with the kind of cheap version of the Falcon Wild Peaks, it'll give us the same basic idea as to the capabilities of these vehicles. We actually ran a bunch of vehicles through this course a couple of days ago, and it was completely dry. Uh, yesterday, pouring rain. And so we were unable to test the TRD Pro in these conditions. But I'm actually really stoked that now we have a <laughs> limited with the TRD off-road package, which is a much more affordable option. Uh, let's go ahead and set up the vehicle. We're already in four high, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in neutral, put it into four low. That way we have our entire kit of tools available to us. I'm gonna turn on the front camera. Uh, and this gives me a complete view of uh, my wheel position. I can also see side tracking, and then I can adjust, of course, to different angle views. This one will draw the terrain underneath the wheels. This is gonna be interesting. So this type of mud is super slick, uh, and these tires The tires are Michelin LTX Trails at a 265-70 R18. Uh, let's be honest, they look like all season radials. I'm going to go ahead and keep my window open in case I need to call for recovery. Uh, many vehicles have gotten stuck in this, so this is going to be fun. So the first... <laughs> uh, Nick stepped on fire ants. I don't know, they got a lot of stuff down here that wants to kill you. These things won't come off. So I'm going to go ahead and put MTS mode on and I'm going to switch it to mud because this is a very muddy condition. So as the vehicle is going over the moguls, I'm going to try to maintain momentum. And then the MTS system, as wheels lose traction from being lifted, uh, it'll add braking to help redistribute power back into the system. 
uh, because even though we do have a part-time four-wheel drive here, uh, which the transfer case is now locked in four low, uh, which does keep it 50-50 power lock, the MTS system will then distribute power side to side uh, to make it as effective as possible in off-road conditions. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. So uh, we do have some harder stuff up ahead though. Tires have caked up quite a lot, which is not surprising. That is actually one of the benefits of a mud terrain is it has uh, bigger gaps between the lugs, which allows that mud to fall out. Um, all, all terrains and um, definitely all seasons cake up immediately and kind of turn into slicks, which makes mud like this very difficult because I just stepped in the mud a little bit and I have like five pounds of mud at the bottom of my feet. Uh, now, I am used to this stuff though because it is the same type of uh, soil composition as our test hill. So, you know, I know this stuff is terrible <laughs> to drive on. Okay, now we just have a really simple little climb here. I still have uh, MTS mud on and I am in four low. This does have a rear locker, which is pretty awesome that you can get a limited with a rear locker now. Oh yeah, I can feel that slippery, but no problem. Power gets put down, easy peasy. I can't believe I just said easy peasy. <laughs> now on this, this is a tilt and this is where we'll be able to see just how slippery this stuff is. I'm gonna go for a late entry. See how much of a tilt I can get here. So I go all the way up. Oh, let's get our camera on. I don't have my camera on. Problem with getting these vehicles, you're like, where's the camera? Okay, now I can see the rocks are ahead of me. I wanna avoid those. So I'm gonna then cut over and then track out. Very easy. And that's kind of the nice thing. So you, I don't think you understand just how difficult even this easy stuff is. If we did a RAV4 on this stuff, it'd be slipping all over the place. In fact, the course is so difficult right now that they aren't even allowing um, RAV4s on the course. So, and this next climb actually looks like it's gonna be a real test. So the spotting crew, I'll say they have concerns. And we came up with a strategy for attacking this hill climb. And we're gonna see if the Sequoia can do it. With stock tires, that's critical. So this mud has already caked up these tires, so they don't have a lot of grip. Also, this has running boards, so it has less ground clearance. These are all things that work against this particular trim. So now I'm going to reverse a little bit and I'm going to try to knock all the mud off these tires by doing another hard charge. The idea is to try to reveal tread and not track more slippery mud onto this rock surface because obviously rock is natural traction. Mud is the opposite. Now we're gonna do setup, and this is not where we're gonna Mickey Mouse around. This is gonna be serious setup time. I'm locking my rear differential. I'm gonna turn on my camera view so I can see what's going on, specifically so I can see where my tires are tracking. And then I'm also gonna turn MTS to rock, which will minimize spin, because once I start spinning, that's when I'm gonna lose grip. I have lots of spotters, <laughs> so hopefully we'll see what's going on. And I'm gonna to try to maintain traction all the way up. Now I'm gonna do two pedal. So I have my left foot on the brake, right foot on the gas. And we need to maintain momentum. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna back up and we're gonna try this again. Super slippery stuff. Gonna, we have a lot of momentum with this vehicle, so I'm just gonna let momentum take me down. and we're gonna charge that again to try to get mud off. <laughs> okay, so now we're good there. Let's go ahead and go up this. Keep the momentum. I know I've screwed up my one opportunity. mud off. Here we go. It can be done. <laughs> 
on that ascent, I maintained momentum and you don't have a lot of control, nor does MTS really have a lot to do, but it is making little micro adjustments that you can't see. Probably the biggest help there was the locked rear differential because it really helped push power evenly and consistently as I climbed the hill. That situation was dangerous because if we got skewed, we would have fallen off the side. There was not a lot of lateral space, but the Sequoia did just fine. Now time for the victory bath. Ooh. Oh, it's deep today. <laughs> now, I want to talk about the four-wheel drive system in this vehicle. Um, it does not have a trick center diff, which means it is not full-time four-wheel drive. However, there is one benefit to having, okay, two benefits to having part-time all-wheel drive. First off, rear-wheel drive, better for towing. Okay, three reasons, because it's also better for economy. <laughs> anyway, it's starting to sound like the Spanish Inquisition here. Three, three, three reasons why um, part-time four-wheel drive systems are good. Better fuel economy, better towing, and switching into too high. Uh, let's go four low first. Oh. So let's turn off that rear locker. I'm now in four high, which means I can then switch into two high. And this is the reason why you like. This is the reason why two high is so good. I can turn off traction control. How do I get trailer mode on? Let's turn off trailing. I'm gonna see, uh, it really wants to be in trailer mode. Let me go check the trailer connections. Trailer connections, full of water. That's a problem with fording water, right? Okay, so now we're in drive. Too high. I'm gonna turn off traction control. Now traction control is off. I'm gonna show you one of the best things about the rear wheel drive setup, or part-time four wheel drive as it is. <laughs> yeah, that's right tail out fun, but um, have I mentioned how slippery this stuff is? So I'm actually gonna go back into four high. I am gonna turn traction control back on. So let's turn traction control back on. But I'm gonna use MTS sand so you can see how much wheel spin we get uh, in MTS. And yes, MTS now works in four high. So let's do sand and here we go. Full throttle. Oh, Woo. <laughs> oh my God, this is killer. <laughs> Here's another one. Get it! Sideways and over the hump. Yes! <laughs> it gives you a, that much wheel spin to have fun without actually getting you in trouble. And that is the great thing about those advanced, like loose traction systems, is they let you have fun without actually like, you know, getting you completely turned around. And that is awesome. You know, this is such a big, wide, muddy course. I am going to try once again to do it in rear wheel drive. Too high, hopefully the switch. You know, one of the big issues I've been having with this vehicle is it's kind of fussy in switching into uh, two, four high and four low. Like right now it's thinking, thinking, what's it doing? Is it having an issue? Is it just not ready? Come on, when are you gonna switch into four high? There we go, okay, I just had to roll forward enough. Uh, so uh, for this one, I am going to turn, I'm going to turn, can I do my rear locker? I guess I can't do a rear locker in two wheel drive mode. That's a fine. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a two wheel drive, uh, turning traction control off. And let's do this. It's just such a big vehicle. Uh, yeah. Okay, now let's try a pendulum. So I'm gonna try rotating this way. Oh, the throttle is a little slow, which makes it a little bit more challenging. Oh, throttle's full in and I'm getting nothing. Nothing. It's because of that traction control. It can never be completely turned off. And that's problematic if you wanna be like, you know, kicking things around a bit, right? <laughs> 
You know, let's see if just a straight in and a full throttle into the corner gets me around. Yeah, a little momentum. Ah, but then it cuts power again. Oh man, Toyota. Let's see if there's another stage attraction control I can turn off. Here we go. So two wheel drive, lots of fun once you can get moving. Now I have traction control completely off. That means holding down the button for a good couple seconds. And now the big thing here is that there's no traction. So it's a lot of momentum. Try to push this big thing around the corners. A little, oh, 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 little off, little off. Throttle, 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 throttle. Oh yeah, over the hill. <laughs> that is a lot of fun. Now there is another thing we can do with this vehicle. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it into four high this time. I'm gonna turn traction control back on. Okay, traction control is on. I'm now gonna put MTS into sand mode, which allows for a lot of wheel spin. And uh, this is gonna be fun. I think I'll also turn on that rear locker. Can I do that? No, it won't let me do rear locker in four high. So here we go. Now let's see how this differs now that it's a four wheel drive vehicle. So we have a downhill. This is gonna be really difficult because it's putting all the weight on the front of the vehicle. Oh, so much grip, which is surprising considering this mud has like no grip. Woo! Now the thing with four wheel drive, drive is this, if you start slipping, you actually put more throttle in. Oh, that throttle, sometimes it just kind of cuts out because of the traction control. Oh, let's get through this, man. Okay, I'm turning traction control off because all the way off because I am slipping everywhere. There we go. And up over the jump. Okay, I'm not actually gonna use it as a jump <laughs> because even though this has underbody protection, well, I don't really wanna do that much to it. Oh. So much slipperiness. Oh, I love it. And up over the rise, boom, throttle in. Man, it really is cutting throttle. Oop, that's a mud pit. Boom, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, full throttle, got me through that. Didn't even hit the sign. Boom, that is fun. <laughs> now there's a couple things. I would like the throttle to be more responsive. It really cuts that throttle when I'm really, you know, twisted up and trying to put the throttle in. It, the stability control interrupts all the fun, which is disappointing. However, I have to say, this vehicle, I am having fun with this. Now, if I were to get a Sequoia, it wouldn't be the TRD Pro, I don't think. I, I just simply think they're asking too much money for it. So I think that the better deal here is actually this vehicle. Because even though the Falcon Wild Peak tires are included on the TRD Pro, it's not really Falcon Wild Peak tires in the same sense. It is a kind of a cheap knockoff, even though they are per, per, you know, made by Falcon, they're just not as good of a tire. And for that reason, I just don't think it's much of an advantage. So I would rather get this limited, take off the sideboards, um, or don't take them as an option. I don't know if they're an option or not. Uh, and instead, put some proper tires on this thing, and it'll be highly capable. Now, you don't get the same suspension, that's fine. Uh, the Fox suspension is great, but I don't think it's really enough of a difference to say, oh, you have to get the TRD Pro. Because a lot of people buy TRD Pros and then end up putting on like higher-end suspension anyway. Just get a limited. For Driving Sports TV, I'm Ryan Douthat. This has been a heck of a lot of fun. Love the new Sequoia. It's been good. Be sure to like, subscribe, share our videos. We make them for you, and I hope you enjoy them.